Learning Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2158. Insert two rows at each change. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Well, today's question uh, from Janet. Uh, I met Janet at Excel at Palooza. Janet has a data set that she downloads, and every time the customer name changes, she wants to insert two rows. Insert two rows. Now, before we get to Janet's question, it's amazing how many times I get asked the question of how can you insert multiple rows in Excel. I don't know why this is confusing to people, but it's easy to insert multiple rows in Excel. If I want to insert one row between ABC stores and AT&T, I just come here to the first row that's going to be shifted down, and we'll do insert, insert sheet rows. Uh, now, instead of doing that, I actually do Alt-I for insert, R for rows, whichever method you'd like there. So Alt-I, R will insert one row. But if I wanted to insert two rows, so what I want to do is here is the first place that I want to shift down, and I hold down the Shift key and press the down arrow to select two rows. Alt-IR will insert two rows, shift them both down. Now, I, I guess it's kind of counterintuitive because normally, uh, if we select this cell, it's pushing that one down. And if we select two cells, you'd think maybe it would start pushing down below that. I, I don't know why it's confusing, but it, you know, if you need to insert five rows, uh, Alt-IR, it's always going to insert from the very first cell in the selection. All right, so we, we have that rule. I'm going to come out here and add a helper column. And the helper column is going to start in the fourth row. And it's going to say, equal if one of two things is true, right? Either either of these true things are true. So I'm going to use an OR function. If what we have in this cell is not equal to the cell above us, or if what we have in this cell is not equal to two cells above us, all right, if either of those are true, then we want to put in a 1. And it's not so important what we put in here. Uh, otherwise, we want to put in a letter. All right, the important thing here is that 1 is numeric and 1 is text. All right, so I'm differentiating between numeric and text like that. And we'll double click to copy that down. And what we should see is the first two rows of each customer have a number, whereas everything else has a letter. All right, so we'll choose that whole column. We'll go to Home, Find and Select, Go to Special. In go to special, we're looking for formulas that result in numbers. So it's going to ignore all the A's, it's going to ignore the blanks, it's only going to give me the first two rows of each customer. Select it like that, and then we can go to insert, insert sheet rows, and it will successfully add two rows after each customer like that. Now, once we have that done, we'll uh, delete the helper out in column E, and we are good to go. All right, that's kind of one of the types of tricks that are in this book, 617 Excel Mystery Solved, Power Excel with Mr. Excel, the 2017 edition. Click that eye up there in the top right-hand corner uh, for more information on how to buy the book. All right, so wrap up for today. Janet wants to insert two rows below each customer's records. How to insert multiple rows in one command in Excel. I don't know why that's confusing to people, but I get that question a lot. Uh, to solve Janet's problem, we use an if-or format to figure out if this is uh, this customer uh, is different than the customer above us or two rows above us and put in either a text A or a number one and then go to special to select the just the ones in that range and then uh, one single insert sheet rows command will solve the problem. I want to thank Janet for sending that question in and I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.